Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, the simultaneous equation that you have learned in algebra is useful in geometry. So I've taken a simple example from geometry, where this is a polygon, this is a quadrilateral, four-sided polygon, and uh, we are told this angle is 120, this is 90, we don't know this angle, and you want to find the value of x here okay so let me think let me take a thinner pen so i like this say blue color uh, what can we do what do we know now if you if you look at these two angles what type of angles are they these two would add up to what you should know that is 180 so I'll, i'm naming this angle as y you can name any letter so can i say x plus 100 plus y is equal to 180. I'll go very slowly. So can I say x plus y plus 100 is equal to 180. So if you take away 100 from both sides, you can pretty well understand x plus y is equal to 80. So the next step, I'm going to write this in terms of, because I want to find x. So I'm going to write y in terms of x. So with this implies, y is equal to 180 minus x. I'll call this my first equation. Okay. Now what else do we know? What do the four angles of a quadrilateral add to? The four angles of a quadrilateral adds to one, sorry, 360 degree. If you take a triangle, let me draw a triangle. Say this is a simple triangle. Let me draw a simple triangle. So this is a triangle. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is say angle A. This is angle B. This is angle C. I can say A plus B plus C angles of a triangle or interior angles of a triangle add to 180. So if you draw a quadrilateral, so let me draw a quadrilateral. Let me draw, I'll draw in the next page. Oh, the next page, uh, I'll draw a simple quadrilateral of no particular shape. Suppose, say this is like this, and this is a quadrilateral. Now can you understand this quadrilateral can be split into two triangles. So let me split this in two triangles. So this is what I mean. So this can be split in two triangles. Now we know A plus B plus C, if this is A, this is B, and this is C. We know A plus B plus C is 180. And if you do, if you take these three, tri these three angles of this triangle, this is C, D, E, and F. I can say D plus E plus F is also 180. So if you add all the four, suppose let me remove this. Let me highlight this and I want to remove this. So can I say this, this angle, this whole angle is nothing but C plus D. And this whole angle is B plus F. I can I say this as B plus F. So can I say A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F is 180 plus 180, which is 360. So that is same as A plus C plus D plus E plus B plus D. So angles in a quadrilateral adds to 360. So that's what we're going to use in this. So can I say, so let us start from 90, okay, 90 clockwise. So can I say 90 plus 120 plus 2x plus 55 plus y is equal to 360. So let me rearrange. So this is 2x plus y 
plus let me write the numbers together 90 plus 120 plus 55 is equal to 360 for some of you this may be slow but I'm intentionally going slow so can I say now 2x plus y what is this you can use a calculator so let me get a calculator out so that is 90 menu run so I don't want to make mistakes so 90 plus 120 plus 55 that is 265 so can I say plus 265 is equal to 360 so if I take away 265 from both sides so I can say 2x plus y is equal to 360 take away 265 so that is 360 take away 260 is 100 and then again you have to take away 5 so that's 95 so can I say 2x plus y is equal to 95 I want to I don't want y so I'm going to write this in terms of in terms of x so this implies can I say y is equal to 95 minus 2x just like that so this is my second equation so this is equation number two now I'm going to show you a wonderful logic which can be useful in many places a simple logic maths is so exciting because it's the most logical subject so I'm going to give you logic okay so let me write a neat number 10 I like the number 10 can I write is 16 minus 6 okay I'm, I want to ask you a question after this so listen to this argument quite well so 10 is 16 minus 6 okay 10 I can can I write that as a um, let me think of a number say 65 minus 55 okay now this this is no really has no relation with uh, equation 1 and 2 Just, not now so from this two can I make this statement 16 minus 6 is equal to 65 minus 55 think about this for a while you can pause the video and think where am I going okay so let me come back so I thought I think you have thought about you should have realized where am I going okay, let me change color and make it thinner so look at these two look at equation 1 and equation 2 and this and think what can you write as I have written this statement from equation 1 and equation 2 can you write a new statement I think most of you have got it yes we can so what can we write we can write this this is equal to this because this is a y and this is also a y so can I say the next step 180 minus x let me delete this what did I do here so let me delete okay so can I say 180 minus x where did I get a 180 minus x here it is equation 2 this is equation 1 so why did I write 2 there this is equation 1 so let me write 1 here so this is equation 1 so equation 1 from equation 1 I can write 180 minus x is equal to 95 minus 2x just like that I want to bring the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side so I'm going to show you one neat way of bring, doing that I don't want the 2x sitting minus 2x sitting here so I want to delete it so I'm going to add 2x to this side so if I add 2x to this side I have to add 2x to this side okay, let me change color okay let me take green now I want the numbers on the right hand side so basically what we do is we are bringing the X's on the left hand side this side and the numbers on the right hand side so I don't want 
don't want uh, 180 on this side so am I doing some mistake here yeah it will oh it's not 180 why did I write 180 yeah sorry can you see it's always good to check your work I should have written here 80 yeah so 80 minus X okay so here I should have written let me change this to 80. The answer was not making sense to me. Okay, yeah. So I don't want this 80 here. So I want to get rid of this 80. So I have to take away 80 from this side. I wanted to use a different color. So let me use, say, red here. Yeah. So if you take away 80 from this side, you have to take away 80 from this side. Okay, so let me draw up a line. So this is one's left hand side and this is your right hand side. Okay, so what will do what will happen now? <coughs> so let me use black. So this plus 80 and minus 80 gets cancelled. Minus 2x and plus x gets cancelled. So now you've got a minus x plus 2x gives you an x. And this is 90 minus 95 take away 80, which is 15. So this is your answer. Now it's always good to go back and check your answer. So what's your answer? X is 15. So let us put your answer back into the question and see whether it makes sense. Okay, so let me make it thinner. So let me use a different color for this color or this violet color. So what was X? X was 15. So this becomes this angle becomes 2 times 15 is 30. 30 plus 55. So this is 85 degrees. Okay. So this becomes 115 degrees. 1, 1, 5. So let me remove the Y there. So if this is 115, this has to be 180 minus 115. That is... 65 am I right okay 165 plus 115 is 180 and now these four angles should add to should add to 360 so I'm going to check my work so I go 85 plus this is 85 plus 65 plus 90 plus 120 Okay, so 5 plus 5 is 10, remainder 1, 9, 9 plus 7 is, 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 plus 9 is 24, 26, and 2, 360. So we have confirmed our answer, so I'm quite happy, I'll give myself 5 stars. See you in the next video.